Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishaka Pujari and today we are going to do this basic look. As you can see, I have pigmentation around my face, side cheek area, my mouth area. So we are going to do a very basic makeup look to cover that and have a very nice soft glam look. So let's begin. So as always, I am going to start by prepping my face by applying some moisturizer and then letting it set for some time. After the moisturizer is set for 2 to 3 minutes, I am going to apply my primer and also let it set for another 2 to 3 minutes. Then I am going to apply my kajal. This is the Nika kajal and I am just lining this on my waterline, doing it on both the sides. Now I am using my lip balm. This is by Juicy Chemistry. Then we will start with the eyebrows. Here I am using the spoolie and brushing up my eyebrows. Then with the brow pin side, we are going to lightly line the outer and the upper area of the eyebrow just to create a natural line to the eyebrows. Once we are done outlining the outer area of the eyebrow, we are going to fill in the sparse area inside the eyebrow and give it a nice natural look. I hope you can see the difference in both the eyebrows. I have also done the other side of my eyebrow and now to clean up the eyebrow area, I am using a concealer around the eyebrow area. I am using the same concealer on the pigmented area on my face. As you can see, the concealer dries up very quickly, so you have to work very quickly with this. It is not the very best concealer, but it works. Next, I am using the Maybelline foundation. This is in the shade 338 Spicy Brown. I actually intended to use the Lakme foundation, but I somehow used this. And then I planned that I can use both the foundations, so I am just lightly placing the maybelline foundation on the leftover area i'm using the lacme foundation you can see the difference lacme foundation is a bit undertoned foundation as you can see the difference in both the foundations and then with the foundation brush we are just going to blend in everything well together For the concealer, I'm using the Swiss Beauty Concealer, some under the eye area, some on the bridge of the nose, tiny bit on the cupid's bow, some on the chin area and some on the cheek area where we put our contour. Then with the same foundation brush, I'm just blending it in with the foundation. So there's no different shade and you can see the highlighted portions very clearly. For the eye look, I am going to use a very soft brown color as a base color. Then once it is blended, I am going to use a darker shade of the brown on the crease area. Once we are done with the blending, I am using a soft pink color on the upper side of the crease area. Then I am using a darker shade of pink and just lightly dabbing it on the outer area of the eye. I am using a bronze color shimmer powder here. I am just lightly dabbing it with the finger on the eyelid and just blending it with the pink color. Applying the same highlighter on the inner side of the eye. Then for the wing liner, I am using the Maybelline eyeliner and creating a small wing. Here I am using the Itex contour powder on the nose and the sides of my cheeks, taking it outwards towards the hairline area and then just blending it in with the brush. To create a soft blush look, I am using the cheek tint on the nose and some on the higher cheek area. I am going to blend this very nicely with another brush. Once you are done blending the blush, you can use a highlighter if you want or you can skip it. I am applying the highlighter over the blush area and a bit on the tip of the nose and some under the eyebrow area. For the final touches, I am using the Faces Canada Liquid Lipstick. 
description of the lipstick and everything will be mentioned in the comment box and also in the description box below so if you want to check it out you can definitely check out the links we are done with the look if you liked my video please do leave your suggestions in the comment box below give it a thumbs up and we'll meet next time thanks for watching